So guys, welcome back. Um, today is Thursday, and I just felt since um, my days have been going a bit slow, and also because it's the end of my holidays already, and I'm already two days into school, I thought, why not jot down what I did? Uh, I guess I'm gonna call this a holiday roundup of what I did over the holidays. So without further ado, let's get started. I will just first mention I did not set many goals for the holidays necessarily. Um, it was just what was my priorities at the time and then just basically putting in the days to get those done. I know that two goals that I wanted to do was to upload 10 videos by the end of the holiday. I did. I uploaded 17 videos. I expected 18 uh, with the holiday recap ending on Tuesday, but couldn't get to it. So this means I uploaded 17 videos, which is over 10 videos nonetheless. Uh, the next is to start outreach by New Year's. I, as I've mentioned a lot, I've been learning in the real world, but unfortunately with just a lot of inconveniences, a lot of, I guess, poor time management, couldn't get to it and I delayed it until the 29th of January. And then now I realized that things just get busy and I won't be able to achieve it by the end of the holiday. So I did not achieve that. Fortunately, I'm still trying to strive to work on that right now. Just trying to make the most time as I can when I have it free to learn in the real world uh, but it should always be my priority nonetheless um, and content creation should always be something that is uh, something I upload you know once or twice a week it sh really should not take me more than eight hours a week uh, with four hours per video to do content creation but um, yeah sometimes it takes more time than needed and yeah so Unfortunately, couldn't meet that goal, I guess. The next thing I did was I did export my SBA worksheet by New Year's. So I guess since November, I was working on this um, worksheet, which is called the SBA worksheet from uh, that I was given the template by Iman. If you guys have watched the rescue, uh, you would know that there was uh, keywords that you had to enter and when you did that, you were taken to a website where you got a exclusive excerpt of the digital launchpad course that was looking to come out somewhere uh, this year. Um, so anyone who entered the keywords on time got a hold of that. Um, and so, I got a hold of the unreleased video um, and it was about the SBA worksheet. It comes with the SBA template which you take to Canva to design and tailor to uh, your own SBA worksheet um, as it's called the C Believe Achieve, uh, which is just the abbreviation or acronym or yeah, some, something like that. So very valuable sheet. Um, if any of you guys got a hand on it and you still haven't gone to that, I cannot give enough credit for it being able to genuinely paint the vision that I want for this year. So next was to stay uh, consistent on note jars and I actually did end up doing that. I didn't even miss one week of doing this, uh, of doing the note jars since I saw it. Um, I remember I saw it on a Instagram post from like uh, Wealth, like at like at wealth and it was it was something along the lines of challenge which was to take a note jar and write everything good about it in one week and then do that for the entirety of 2023 and that is what i did and i kept that was probably the most consistent thing i've done um, just being able to kind of do mini journals and then put it in my jar that was um, Yeah, that was something that I'm definitely going to look back on and um, Read again somewhere this time this year 
Uh, so next during the holidays, I renewed the real world. If my holiday was from November to January, I renewed it, I think earlier than that, but still I constantly kept my membership open and uh, recurring uh, through each month, being able to have access to the chats, the lessons and the people, seeing a lot of victories and just being in that, you know, that right environment to um, create hungry and money driven people next was i discovered and i completed the times up worksheet as it aired somewhere around like 15th to like the 22nd or 21st of january which uh obviously they also marketed and uh revealed the event for registration and you know with the trailers and whatnot and the promotion trailers way before um that obviously happened just to build up a strong email list and uh get attention build a queue so next is i joined digital launchpad digital launchpad is a program that is is looking to come out in somewhere in 2024 that means around that i got a soft launch uh email and basically an email taking me to the digital launchpad uh landing page where basically it, it was um, about you making your first thousand dollars i think as soon as i saw it within 10 minutes i signed up and um yeah i i was in there for about 14 14 days until obviously i asked for a refund with with how flawed the soft launch was which is by the way the whole point of a soft launch which is to test and find bugs find errors so yeah digital launchpad was still nonetheless great i got access to about 20 modules each from agency navigator from six figure sales rep and from pen to profit i got some wallpapers i got some plug and plays um i managed to meet a great community um, a very small one by the way uh, i think it was less than a thousand people for and the monthly was less than 50 dollars a month so you know i guess that can help you kind of guess what the audience is like from that i learned about accountability partners and uh, I since then taken the opportunity to outreach to many uh, accountability partners i dm'd a lot of people in the community until eventually i managed to move five people over from digital launchpad to twitter and um, instagram so uh, i've been staying fairly in touch with them now uh, some of them we're kind of taking breaks from uh, a couple of fallouts so um, yeah everyone's situation is a bit different so obviously not like me you know at my desk every day <laughs> but uh yeah so if i were to just genuinely give a quick review on digital launchpad um the bonuses were great uh the only problems i had was the fact that they tried to supplement um the value of the soft launch with modules from the main educate um enrollment access which was a bit unfortunate um because I know for a fucking fact that the free modules they gave us um, in Digital Launchpad, if uh, some of you, um, some of my accountability partners are watching, some of, some people who have maybe even joined Digital Launchpad, you are the very few and very rare to know that um, the free modules they gave us in there isn't really enough. Um, and that's kind of like the reason why they supplemented uh, with six modules from each of the main programs in the, um, the main educate access. I hope that they can fix that up and, um, you know, work their way around that because really digital launchpad seems more like a mindset than more so something as a building a skill and monetizing it. So the next thing I achieved during the holidays was um, working and attending the events. So I've already talked about one of them, the Time's Up event during the middle of July. Uh, but another one was, I believe, the Rescue, where that was about breaking down the education system, um, giving some principles taken from literally ancient Greece um, and from the Spartans. So. 
very very interesting and very insightful information nonetheless both great events obviously it makes sense a lot of people were complaining about the price and you know to me it does make sense generally when i convert it to my currency it is a shit ton uh literally almost two to three k so that's almost double of their price tag in my currency i know for other people in very very much weaker currencies that inflates and you know multiplies a lot to the point where you know they they realistically they can't actually afford that thing because it's just the the price and the currency conversion is so insane but yeah nonetheless great value tons of free value to take from it as long as people have the initiative to apply and not think that they need a course all the time there's free information uh, you can always look at that so i also adjusted my routine a lot um i went through many many different changes and that led to me improving on my affirmations um improving my affirmations i picked up meditation started from i think like three minutes then i just moved to five minutes and then now i'm just doing five minutes in the morning five minutes at night and that works for me i i don't really feel a need to meditate anymore and uh just just letting you guys know as well meditation is not just you know you sitting down and you know controlling your breath um it's you know meditation is something for you to do to be present and so whatever that is maybe you know walking outside or just sitting down and focusing on something um, that isn't too obviously stress inducing that in a way is its own form of meditation and you know that counts just anything to disconnect and be present you know that can be considered as meditation i also started reading as you would know uh, from a lot of my day in life and routine videos i started reading this book which is think and grow rich I essentially started reading this from about i don't know six six seven weeks ago i believe um and yeah i was just basically pummeling through this book i don't know averaging maybe 10 10 pages you know per 30 minute session just going through this um and i ended up finishing it so that meant I also picked up and started progressing again and picking back up and continuing on Sell Like Crazy and um, the Concise and the 48 Laws of Power. You're wondering why it's not the size of a Bible? Because I got a concise version. I got the concise edition. As you can see at the top right there, the red text uh, that says the concise. I got the concise version. So... Uh, none of the history behind it just straight up how do you use it and um, just a little you know quotes on the side so and just going back to these books i also did takeaways for this book and i also did takeaways for rich dad poor dad which i already read so that was only a matter of me just highlighting what information was important and then just putting it down and dotting it on a piece of paper i actually have it right here it isn't too long so and it's only one page, so I'll just read it to you guys right now. What I found applicable right now. What I found applicable was that poverty and success are the offspring of thought. Anyone who stops learning when they finish school is doomed to mediocrity. Uh, success requires no explanation. Failure permits no alibis. And a personal note I made was leaders need to be an example that earns respect and credibility, not demand it forcefully. And yeah, that was basically my short notes and takeaways from Think and Grow Rich. A lot of it is very vanilla stuff, so that's why I didn't take too much value from it. Um, and I actually found it sometimes a bit of an annoying book to read because of how many uh, CTAs and uh, hooks they tried to put in to try and retain i don't know our information our attention or something whatever uh with rich dad poor dad um this is really messy so i guess I, I can't really read this off too much um but i just essentially drew the financial statements for 
from rich dad poor dad um, you know the educated dad and the rich dad over here and um, what a middle class struggle just like basically balance sheets and financial sheets of how the rich the poor and the middle class operate uh, with you know those financial statements uh, and I guess two quotes and a couple more was the rich buy assets poor only have expenses and middle class buy liabilities they think are assets um, I also wrote how the rich play the game which uh, leads me to page 98 uh, another one is page 166 to 167 and page 174 to 175 as well as that with some room changes i added a lot of stuff to my room um i guess i guess firstly i have a bookshelf which you can just see uh oh which you can just see right there um i store you know just some random stuff some you know my books um and yeah my you know my filming equipment and yeah so that was a nice little addition i guess next i also have i don't know if you can see it behind me i have the chair the chair right there uh which i am implementing uh to sit down on the morning because usually um after i scan the alarm and i go back to my room i usually have the tendency to sit on my bed which then uh tempts me to uh, lay back down and then I oversleep so by implementing the chair uh, cancels out and uh, stops all of that and make sure that you know when I open the curtains in the morning um, and even though it's dark I am, I'm at least sitting down and I'm at least just trying to start waking up next is I improved my editing style a lot um, I started to take notes very heavy notes and uh, basically move from vsdc video editor to uh, premiere pro which is a move i do not regret and i wish i just jumped straight to premiere pro because that would have saved me so much more time and yeah just saved me so much more time and made my editing more efficient i also created some new channels for youtube i'm not going to disclose what they are but one thing is for sure is that they're going to be for long term when i have um, when I want to do more business orientated content, uh, you know, philanthropy, um, for fans and just, you know, thinking on a lot about those things. So, um, but obviously I've just made the accounts, I've named them, make sure I claim the handles and then that's it. Just leaving it there. I believe I also tried the lavalier microphones right now. Um, uh, they don't work. So unfortunately this was not very, not really a good purchase of, um, uh, with $60 so I don't think I can refund that but uh, yeah I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with that um, otherwise uh, yeah I won't be using it very much in the future I also got the Gadji glasses I got these on the Black Friday sale so I ended up paying I think about 129 AUD um, so yeah great save some money on that and uh yeah i do not regret having these blue light blocking glasses have served me very well so far i also went shopping similarly uh on the same day that i uh, checked my emails and i joined digital launchpad i went to shopping and i just basically got a bunch of clothes doing a uh overhaul a, a pretty pretty strong overhaul of my wardrobe removing any of the branded stuff and just getting you know plain tees like this and you know just keeping it simple keeping it simplistic removing the branding and starting to you know really take control of my uh fashion style next is uh wall notes so i won't be able to show you guys this but just around the screen right now there's some sticky notes I put on the wall, just, you know, stuff like the wheel of life. Um, you know, where's my energy going? Uh, there's a monk mode protocol right above the computer screen. So I always know what do I need to do each day that is asked of my monk mode protocol. Uh, I also have 
just a digital launch pad sheet just sticky tape to the wall couple more notes and yeah just my way of um, organizing some work that I did before taking notes from modules and just you know sticking around so it's within my my site I guess next is I attempted a marathon now if you know and you've watched the video I didn't achieve it unfortunately but um, still nonetheless I tried and with training coming up to that day I did 25 kilometers uh, but combined with the combined with the marathon attempt which was 15 kilometers uh, totals up to 40 kilometers for that holiday which uh, is literally just 2k's two kilometers away from a full marathon but nonetheless uh, definitely a very interesting um, interesting decision that I uh, documented uh, on my channel lastly to wrap up is on my YouTube channel um, so by the end of the holiday I had around 16 subscribers and I recently also got a uh, view achievement of 500 views on my channel so with that and just learning you know how to design thumbnails a bit better figuring out what do I like about thumbnails because I don't really have necessarily a style to my thumbnails I don't really take any inspiration from anything I just you know I just put images in and um, yeah I just free ball it so um, and I also changed my profile picture a lot as well so I think I changed it twice if not once uh, during the holidays and uh, yeah as you as you would know now the profile picture is now me um, in a black shirt did a little photo shoot for that that has been my holiday roundup for my summer break uh, in 2023 75 days and that's how much i got done if i have any criticisms for it as i always do i would always say i couldn't have done more uh, but of course nonetheless i'm grateful because this is a lot of progress and um, i know for sure um, i am by doing this and having done all this i've gotten very much well ahead of um, most people in my school so guys bit too long unfortunately but i'll try and uh, spice it up with some b-roll some images here and there this has been really long and it hurts to stare at this bright ass light for 30 minutes um, so with that guys i'll see you guys in the next video uh, lots of good content coming your way uh, there is a vlog coming up soon of my Wednesday so my first day back um, so hopefully that won't be too long that'll be like 20 minutes if not more uh, I'll try and get it under that but uh, yeah guys I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have any feedback any support leave it down in the comment section leave a like uh, show some support become a supporter of me on my channel come join me on this journey and subscribe um, and other than that I will see you guys in the next video stay safe and take care uh, 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 I said nighttime vision I see the face it's not my decision to be this way